Oh, what is that? I think this is a little koi or a little goldfish sized little pleco. It's a Corydora. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at all of the beautiful fish coming out of this trap. Welcome back to Rob's Clouds, guys. In today's video, we're going to be going to the abandoned fountain and setting a 24 hour fish trap. Now, it is currently like 10 at night. I don't know why I was just stammering on my words, but we're going to go there right now and set a fish trap, right? We're going to actually probably set two. It's a gamble because it is an abandoned property. There are homeless people, and there's a chance they do actually steal or somebody drives by and steals all of the fish and both the traps but we're going to be doing that in today's video so please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications let's get right into the video so behind me guys i just pulled off some fresh water changes on both the 55 gallon tank right here and the 150 gallon tank in the morning i'll be giving you guys an update on those tanks as well for the time being though we're going to start driving up to the abandoned fountains to see what's good i just showered so i'm not going to be getting dirty right now we're literally just going to be setting the traps i've got some cat food i've got the traps so we're ready to roll out and i'll catch you guys there all right guys we're here i'm gonna try to keep it low because the last time i was here there were barking dogs and there were people in the house like homeless people and there's a car pulling up so that's kind of weird might be a cop low key but we're gonna get a trap baited up and i might just bring my phone so i could hold the flashlight better because i'm rolling rolling solo and when, if, I, if I have to fight a homeless guy, I'd rather drop my phone than my camera. You know, I'd rather have a little bit more hands free. But I will say, if I do have to fight a homeless guy, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Alright guys, I got a whole bag of cat food in this fish trap. So, the fish should be having a lot of bait. So now we gotta head into the dark and see if we can't set this trap without getting attacked by the homeless. The lens keeps fogging up, but guys, this is where we're headed right now. But into the darkness is where we're headed. <laughs> Wish me luck. Alright. Guys, I lied. We're bringing the camera and the flashlight. I'm able to hold them both, so we should be okay. Oh, God. This is scary. I don't see anybody, but the goal is to be very, very quiet because I don't want to see anybody. I don't want anybody to know I came because this is a covert mission. But we're just going to run in here and set this fish trap, guys. Now, if you're scared, that's because you should be because this is not fun, this is scary. But I think we'll be fine. There's definitely gonna be a load of fish in here because, oh, look at that guys, so many mollies and platies. We'll just throw that down right there and let's get out of here. See? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Mommy, mommy, please. All right, so I don't think I don't think we alerted anybody that we just came through here. I don't see anybody. And now that we're locked in the car, I could pretty confidently say, guys, in my full voice, that we successfully set the fish trap at the abandoned fountain. Now we gotta give it 24 hours and we might pop over to another location while it sits. But that was scary, I'm not gonna lie, that was scary. <laughs> Homeless people are the most frightening things in the world. Like, holy smokes. Whew, I didn't hear the dog this time but maybe they just weren't awake and they didn't hear me. And before we run out to the fountain, guys, it's been sitting overnight, so it should be loaded with a ton of fish. Given how much food we put in, how much time we gave, it should be jam-packed full of fish. But before we go out there, we're gonna do a quick feeding and update on the kids. So right here, guys, we got my 150 gallon discus tank, and right behind me, we have the 55 gallon tank. I don't even know what we'd call it, because this tank right here is literally just full of catches. I guess you could technically call it like a native aquarium, because all the fish in here are wild caught, and then thrown in here. So we got a lot of garami in here. We got a lot of the angelfish. And then we got a couple little oddballs, like some puffer fish that we caught the other day. We have a lungfish in here. We got Mowgli, the turtle, a lot of banjo catfish, all sorts of catfish. The striped Raphael, somebody asked about, he's actually still in here as well. He's just down in the muck somewhere. I mean, it's not actual muck. Oh, there's Mowgli's little foot. You can see Mowgli right there chilling, but there's a lot of plant cover for them to hide in. And also there's a silver dollar in here that's really big. I don't know where he ran off to. Oh, there he is, look. He's hiding right there in the back. But we got a lot of fish in here. So we're gonna do a quick little feeding just to show you guys. I did a water change last night. I did not clean the glass. So it looks a little hazy, if you will, but I can guarantee you the water is crystal clear. I just didn't feel like cleaning the glass. <laughs> Sometimes I don't, but we're gonna feed these guys in here and we're also going to be feeding the 150 gallon tank now this tank behind me guys in the next week or so will be getting 
completely rescaped. Like we're gonna have Henry come through again. He's gonna rescape it. It's gonna be beautiful. And we're probably gonna have to reassess what stock in here. We might even revisit the rainbow fish location. See if we could grab a lot of rainbow fish from there. But these guys are ready to eat right now. So we're gonna be feeding them just some frozen stuffs. I use these tongs to beat it up. So once it's all pulverized, I usually just dump it in right here. And these guys are already waiting. They've been a lot hungrier recently. And they're going to absolutely demolish all this. I'm sure the clown loaches, they're still very tiny. We will be revisiting that location as well. They're hiding over here eating. There's a discus over here that's just not with the gang, kind of out of the loop because there's a lot of food floating around for them to eat. But they're going to go through this. They're gonna demolish all this food. And they're doing great. You see one of the little albino plecos in there hidden by the discus. They're also doing great. A lot of them are putting on good size. The plants overall are looking good. It just, I'd like the Amazon swords in the back to do better. We need to get some root tabs for them. But overall, the 150 gallon tank is doing great. And this tank right here, we'll drop it in and it's literally automatic. All the fish absolutely love these pellets. I mean, they just go crazy for it. So they're all gonna feast in this tank as well. And now that you guys have seen all the fish in the 55 gallon as well as the 150 gallon, we're gonna run out to the abandoned fountain and hopefully the trap was not stolen. I don't know if the homeless people that live there at night would steal it. I don't think they would. I don't know why they would. But regardless, we're gonna go back out there and see if we can't catch any fish in the trap or the fountain itself. So it should be fun. I'll catch you guys there. We're now back at the abandoned fountain and we're gonna check the trap real quick. I don't think we're gonna pull it. We're gonna net around first for a little while just to see if we could catch whatever didn't actually get caught in the trap. But if you guys look right here, the trap is right here. And let's see if there's anything in there. I see a little platy or molly right to the side, but let's give it a little listen, you know? Let's give it a little sound check. Oh, we got a ton of fish in the fish trap. So that's awesome. We'll check it after we finish fishing. But for right now, guys, I'm going to pick up this big old net right here. Any of the larger mollies in here, we'll be able to catch out. So we're going to see if we can't catch out any of the mollies and platies that are actually in here. But I could see a ton of babies. This net is way too big. So we'll just come around here. Look at that. They're using the palm fronds as cover, so maybe actually might be best for right now to just remove this stuff. Give us the best chance of catching them as possible. But my thought process is, is a super big net like this one, a lot of the muck will fall through, but a lot of the fish that are in here won't. And that first net proved to be unsuccessful, but it's fine. And we'll scoop through all the gunk. Fish love to hide in the gunk. Oh, I just saw a few back there. Let's see. Oh, this stuff actually is so nasty smelling. You guys should be glad that you don't have smell -o vision Oh no. Oh, okay, so that's actually a dead molly right there that was just sitting at the substrate. That's pretty disgusting. And we're just gonna come back under here, scoop up right there, get under that little front. Oh, what is that? Hold on, I just saw something in here. What is, oh, it's a frog. I don't think I've ever seen a frog like this before. Guys, look at that frog. If you can identify it down below. Oh, let me know. Oh, please don't escape. Please don't escape. No, no, back. If you can identify this frog in the comments down below, let me know. But first weird thing of the day, we're going to keep on. We're going to hold on to this little frog right here and get him in our little keeper bucket. But weird little frog, first find of the day. Not sure if that's anything special or not. I'm not really too familiar with frogs like that. We got some more little baby mollies sitting around the fish trap. And we're gonna definitely do at least one round around this pond to see if we can catch anything. I know there should be at least one little goldfish in here that we coined Houdini because he kept escaping us. But let's see. Big scoop, big scoop. Oh, <laughs> another species of frog. Now this is a little bullfrog. I know that for sure. If you look at its little legs here, they're able to actually completely evolve and get out. So we're just gonna leave him be, let him continue growing out. I'm sure there's plenty of mosquitoes and other bugs in here for him to feed on and continue growing, but we're gonna keep coming around. Boom, oh, gross. This is actually so disgusting. Do we get any fish in this net right here? I don't see any fish in the bottom of the net, but that doesn't mean we didn't catch any. We gotta inspect a little bit. Ew, oh, oh, look, look. Wow, beautiful little molly right here in this muck right here. Beautiful little fish, we'll hold on to him. And we're gonna just see how many we could actually catch, guys. And I'll poke around here just a little bit longer, see if we can't see any more. And I'm probably gonna just return all this mess back into the 
fountain itself just because if there's any fish we miss they'll still have a chance to live but we're gonna get this guy in our little bucket real quick and i'm not sure if you guys could actually tell just how large this fountain is but this fountain's like a couple hundred gallons so if the fish are doing fine in here we really shouldn't be removing them all keep it a little ecosystem it's a little bit more fun that way but i do want to catch a lot of fish out of here so we're going to keep netting around and checking around before we pull up the fish trap it's been around 14 15 to 16 hours since i set the fish trap so it's been a while i'm getting so itchy just netting like walking through all this tall grass it's so so itchy big net right here oh god see this oh let's see what is going on here what just happened <laughs> i have no idea what's happening help help i think oh wait oh i see a huge molly in here come here look at this uh, oh no he just fell <laughs> he just fell in the water but what is this wow okay so guys when we first came here there were a lot of these little goldfish or something in here but this guy is looking a lot beefier. Wow, he's got some good size on him. I think this is a little koi or a little goldfish, but he is beautiful. We'll definitely hold on to him. Not quite sure where we're gonna be putting it, but for the time being, we'll just hold on to him. So, so far guys, we've caught one of the mollies, this weird little frog, and then also this goldfish. We'll pick the net back up and keep working around here. Make sure we get all the waste stuff we pick up back in the pond, just because I have no idea whether or not it holds fish. And I don't want to risk leaving any of them out of water, but another big net. Let's see what we got in here. It's going to be a lot harder to sort through this one. But this net's really just better for picking out all the bigger fish. That's why I got the trap with the super fine mesh in the water. Because all the smaller ones are too quick and too small for me to actually catch with my net. But nothing in that net. Well, we're, going to keep po we're going to keep poking around. I'm going to scrape the bottom of it. See if we could get under some of the bigger guys. Because I know they're in here. Like, that's the thing. Like, I've seen some big adults in here as well. But it looks like we picked up a bunch of crap as per usual I'm trying to figure out how to sort through this net right here oh, oh is that a oh <laughs> success much success oh molly we got a big big old little molly the guys in here are mostly blue but if you look right here looks like we also caught a pleco now i don't think i ever caught a pleco out of here but this is a pretty good sized little pleco he must have been grown out in here for a while or he's just been eluding all my fishing tactics but super cool little pleco and a little molly we'll get them in our little keeper bucket real quick please don't jump out of my hands if you fall into the grasses i will never be able to find you again here you go my friends into the bucket they go they all look pretty good this pond this abandoned fountain seems to have been doing a very good job at keeping these fish alive and healthy which is nice to see because it wasn't this good when we first found it. Can't really see through all the mess, but like I said, guys, we're going to be returning every drop of plantation. Anything we net out of here, we're pretty much just going to put back. There's a big mesh of stuff right here. Let's see if any fish hiding right here. Scoop. All right, please remove yourself from my fish nets. Thank you. Nope, doesn't seem like there's anything in this net. Some of the mollies, most of the mollies actually, able to slip by, but we've been lucky enough to catch some other fish in here as well. I don't actually have a net that's capable of fitting under this little fountain piece, but I know there's probably a lot of fish in there for sure. But since we put the trap in here, I have not seen as many mollies and stuff. I see some smaller guys for sure. I actually just saw a few swim away right there. And there's a few little baby, like tiny little fry, if you guys look. There's some tiny, tiny little fry chilling right there by the cat food. So I know for a fact, we're not going to be able to get all the fish out of here today because there are so many little juveniles. So my goal is to try to get as many adult fish out of here as I can. Let's see. That's a super fat net. I'd be surprised if there was nothing in it. Oh, oh, look, a super small little baby. Look at that. What are you? Oh, look at him. Isn't he just adorable, this little fish right here? We're gonna hold on to him for a second. Pick through this stuff right here. I'm not seeing like anything. Oh, oh, as I was saying that, I think I just saw one. So hard to tell this stuff. It just like coats the fish in green and makes it so difficult to do my job. We're gonna get all this stuff back in the water. We're gonna get this little dude into our keeper bucket. Oh, I just saw a bunch of fish. Big net, big net right here. I saw a bunch of fish, but I don't know if we actually caught any yet. Oh, what is that? Oh, awesome. Okay, so I see off the top a bigger fish, and then I just saw another molly. Let's bring it over by the keeper bucket real quick. Give them some water. Make sure they're all fine and dandy. It is super, super hot outside right now, guys. It's like blistering heat. I'm drenched in sweat. Oh, what are you? Oh, look, 
it's a Corridora. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. A beautiful little Corridora. We'll get him in our keeper bucket. And let's see. Oh, look at the colors on you. This, hey bud, please stop. Please stop. I'm trying to show you off. You're beautiful. Look at the colors on that Molly. If that's what all these Mollies grow out into, that would be freaking insane but let's see if there's any other fishies in here it's super hard to sort through this net with the size it is but let me just pull up this palm frond right here make sure we really do our due diligence sorting through here oh, oh. <laughs> look at this guy he's at the bottom of the net another little corridor oh no is he stuck is he stuck oh he might be a little stuck guys a little rescue mission hey bud please 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 Beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful little corridor. So, so far we've caught a few species of fish out of the abandoned fountain. Only baby mollies though. So I don't think the rest of these are really breeding. I've been netting around for a while now, guys, and I'm not even seeing any adult mollies at this point. I'm not seeing any other fish. I'm seeing nothing. And a guy who actually is like familiar with the owner of the property came up to me. And if you guys remember from the one of the last times we were here, how that entire area was scorched, turned out somebody just drove by and threw down a cigarette or something. <laughs> something horrible but we're about to pull up the trap we're gonna see what we caught i think i'm gonna try to just dump everything from the trap into straight into a bucket and then we'll see what it do we'll see what it's up but i'm dripping in sweat it's blistering hot outside and i'm ready to check this fish trap because we're not catching anything outside of this net so i'm not really trying to cook outside in the heat too much longer but it's interesting because there's these little land snails on the fish trap as well but we're gonna pull this up i hear nothing right now oh Oh, look at that guys we caught a ton of oh wow i see a huge molly in here this place is insane this <laughs> this little fountain is literally so sick but let's see what kind of fish we i see so much color wow guys look in there look at all of the beautiful fish coming out of this trap let me try to get a handful for you guys guys look at this look at these beautiful fish we got so many gorgeous gorgeous little mollies and platies a lot of greens and blues i never really see anywhere some absolute stunners there's a red one right here look at this <laughs> That guy almost jumped out of the bucket, but there's such cool fish in here. Let me try to grab a handful. Wow, we got some more koi. Look at the size on that one, but these mollies, guys, are so green, so beautiful. I think I just dropped in the huge one right there. And look how many more there are, guys. There's a whole... Oh, another corridor. There's a whole breeding population of these blue and green ones. Look at the colors on him. That thing is gorgeous. That is actually so insane. Oh, I just saw like a black and gold. This one's got like some reds and greens on it. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's see what else. Oh my God. These fish are so pretty. I'm trying to just scoop them out so I could show you guys as we go. But you could see, I was not lying. There are some stunning big mollies in here. And I see, oh, wait, is that another one of those little frogs? I just saw a frog. But look at this. We got another beautiful little koi. And I saw, I swear on my life, I saw another little frog in here. Where did he go? I don't know. He's in there somewhere. But I think the rest of these guys, we're going to just try to dump into our little butt. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that frog. <laughs> He's spazzing around. But I'm going to try my best to just dump these guys into the bucket. It's super hard with one hand, but I believe that should do. No mollies left behind, guys. We're trying to get every fish out of this trap into the little bucket. And if you look at that, that is so insane. We got one more straggler and a water bug. Come here, bud. Oh, we got another little straggler right here. Oh, this molly's about to pop. Look how fat she is. Low key, we might just leave her here. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I think we're, we're going to just leave her be stress-free in her home to repopulate this thing guys the mollies are doing incredible in here no harm in leaving them here to be honest they're gonna do just fine they got more than enough food more than enough water for mollies and we just made an absolute killing out of this fountain guys look how many fish we caught out of this trap there's just so many of them in this water it's literally insane and i think there's even still a few more in this trap so I'm going to make sure we get everybody out of here, get all these guys on air and in some more water. And then we're going to bring them back to the house. I'm literally spitting sweat at you guys. <laughs> and then we're going to bring them back to the house and find something to do with them, guys. I got to empty out that 55 ASAP. We're now at the side of the house, guys, by one of the side ponds that we've been throwing some fish in every now and then. Nothing too crazy, but at some point, we do need to drain this thing down and catch out the fish that are in here because eventually, guys, we're going to be moving all of these toads from here. But now that we're here, we're going to be adding all the mollies we caught in here because I generally don't have the space to house them. Um, 
<laughs> so this is going to be the best case scenario. So we're just gonna take a net right here and you guys can see just how successful we were today at the, uh, the fountain. We're gonna just drop these guys down in here and there's no real good way to do this other than to just turn it around and just drop them in, but they'll be fine. And this was basically the foundation of a good little ecosystem in our fountain right here. We do got a little bit of koi in here, but look at just how many mollies and stuff there are. There should be enough mosquitoes breeding in here to feed them. And I'll make sure everybody makes it into the water, guys. Don't worry, but <laughs> just so many fish. But there should be enough mosquitoes breeding to actually feed these. And if not, guys, do not worry. We are going to look at the size on that one. That one is the biggest one we caught. But there should also be, well, it's not a should. We are going to be feeding these guys pellets as well. But you can see just how dense the hyacinth is here. And honestly, I'm going to take the rest of these fish right here. I was going to dump it. But I do actually just want to show you guys. And also, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure what species of frogs these are, but if they can climb out, they actually can. Because of all the rain we've been getting, uh, the water level is super high. So they'll be able to find their way out on these uh, hyacinth leaves. They're very sturdy. Those frogs are pretty small. So they'll be just fine. But we just got a few more fish in here. These corridors will do great as well. Drop them in right now. But nobody's made it out of the thing. So they all should be good. And the rest of these guys, we're just going to dump in right here. I would love to have been able to actually see these. But as you guys know, I don't have the tank space. So we're just going to put them all in here for the time being. And then when we inevitably drain this thing down, we'll catch them back all out and see what all is actually in this pond right here. Because we've been stocking it for a while now. There's a lot of really cool fish in it. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.